Welcome to Wigjig Video University. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make a spiral with our Wigjig Spiral Maker. A spiral maker looks like this. It works with one of our Wigjig tools and it makes spirals similar to this and many other styles. Uh, in order to make a spiral with our Spiral Maker, you start with a piece of straight wire and it needs to be soft wire. You cannot use half hard wire. Uh, our Spiral Maker has several holes in it. So you put the wire in one of the holes of the spiral maker until it just barely touches through and then you bend it flat like that. So now the wire is through the spiral maker and that's what fixes the wire to the spiral maker while we're making our spiral. Now you take our jigs and most of our jigs have one little hole off close to the corner like this. That's the hole we use for our spiral maker and you want to put the peg from the spiral maker in that hole and now I'm looking through the jig. This is the bottom of the jig. The spiral maker is on the opposite side. I'm looking through the jig and I'm adjusting the tension that I pull the wire with so that I pull it around in a nice tight spiral but not so tight that it rides up over the prior loop. And one of my fingers, my index finger and my non-dominant hand, I'm using to hold the spiral maker in place and then you want to do a lot of small movements. It's about 30 or 40 degrees at a time. A lot of small movements. And you build your spiral like that. And you can make your spiral pretty large. Again, adding a little bit at a time. And the spiral comes off the spiral maker, looking like this. Now, there's many things that we can do, uh, and if you visit our Wigjig website, you'll see that there's many ways that we make a spiral, and we actually have some advanced ways of making a spiral. But one of the things that you can do is to make a simple spiral dangle by cutting off the center post. And now we will make a loop in the wire here with our round nose pliers. Just grasp the wire, push it up and over. And we're going to need to reorient so that we can complete the loop and bend it around. And so now we have a loop at the top of the spiral and we're going to need to cut the excess wire with our flush cutter. And we orient the flush cutter with the flat side towards the finished piece. Cut the excess wire like that. Now I just give it a little squeeze and that loop will pop closed. And I want to do a little bit of finishing here so I'm going to just grab the spiral maker and I'm going to push that final loop a little closer to the spiral with my finger like that. And so that finishes my spiral dangle, just like that. And that's how we use our Wigjig Spiral Maker.